What's up guys, Coyote Works here. One thing I think is really important is that if you're like me and you carry an inch pack slash bug out bag around in your vehicle with you, is that you get out a couple of times a year and actually use the pack. So today I'm out here to actually do a overnighter, maybe even two nights, we'll just see how it goes out of my inch pack. Most of you guys that follow my channel have seen this before. This is my inch slash bug out slash get home slash uh, EDLS, extended desert living system pack. And this rides in my Jeep all of the time. So, so the next thing is I'm gonna grab this pack and I'm gonna hike back in a couple more miles and just have a nice little evening camp out. I'll make a little shelter, build a fire, talk to you guys about some of the stuff that's in my pack and just enjoy the evening in the woods. So in addition to the pack, I'm gonna grab a rifle, and today I'm taking this pistol AR along with me that I picked up from my friend Todd Stone who has a new store, Prepper Up. He also has the YouTube channel, Central Oregon Survival Network, so you might check it out. You can find him on Facebook at Prepper Up or Central Oregon Survival Network. So, this belt, and then I'll also grab my Hill People Gear chest pack. So, I'm gonna get geared up and start hiking back in there, so come check it out. All right, so it's been a while since I carried this heavy pack. I think right now it's weighing about 48, 50 pounds. And uh, whew, I can tell I haven't carried it for a while. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. I've got a lot more down timber, a lot more materials to work with. This is good, I'm gonna find something in here. I'm gonna drop my main pack so I can be a little more mobile and just make some fast circles and see if I can find that perfect little spot to build my shelter for the night. All right, so I'm gonna leave my pack here. I've got it in a little clearing here and a couple of landmarks around that I can use to remember where this spot is. But I'm not going very far, but I'm just gonna take my pistol and my chest pack with me. So just in case something did happen, I have basic first aid supplies, etc., cetera, uh, defensive weapon, all those sorts of things. All right, so this is it. It's maybe not ideal, but I've got this log behind me and I've got a couple of trees here I'll be able to put my fire down in front of me so it's just a little bit downhill and because I've got some snow coming I'm gonna actually do a raised bed to sleep on so I think this will work out pretty good I can trim up these trees and use them a little bit and string in a I'll probably string a tarp shelter just because I don't have that much daylight left All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start gathering materials. I'm gonna need some poles, quite a few of them. I'm gonna need to build a fire reflective wall, a raised bed, and then some sort of a structure that I can string my tarp over or use a combination of my tarp and some natural materials. So, because this is a wilderness bug out situation and I've got my pack, the good news is I've got great tools with me. I've got silky saw, Grand Force Brooks axe, good knives. I've got everything I need to do this. The question will just be, can I do it before dark comes and before the snow starts to fly? All right, so the good news is they did some thinning in here a while back and maybe even some wood cutting. So there's a lot of poles, a lot of material for me to work with. As much as possible, I'm using pieces that are already kind of the size that I need them to be and doing as little cutting and processing as possible. And this Silky Big Boy 2000, this is an awesome wood processing saw. 
All right, so I got one end of my bed support right here, one end of my bed frame. I'm gonna run some poles along it. And uh, I've already got some poles out here for the structure for my shelter, so I'm gonna stay busy. That'll be perfect. Well, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, so I'm gonna stop and have a little snack. I, I'm get, one of the things that I like to eat when I'm out here is high protein, high fat foods. So what I'm gonna snack on right now is some Land Jaeger sausage, and it's just a dried sausage. I believe it's kind of European descent and some cheese. I can eat a small amount of this and it'll fuel me for a good long time. Plus, it's freaking delicious. All right, this is my last lash and then the frame for my shelter is complete. All right, the raised bed's in, the frame's up. Now I just gotta string my tarp and then I'll start working on my fire pit. I wouldn't have probably attempted something like this if I didn't have all this material around here. It just wouldn't have been worth it to go to the effort if I had to cut every one of these poles to length but a lot of them I was able to break. A lot of them I was able to find that were already pretty close to the lengths I needed. So before I string my tarp across this pole, I'm just gonna go along it with my ax and I wanna make sure there's no burrs on it that are gonna poke a hole in my tarp. Cause like I said, two things, I am expecting snow tonight, number one. And number two, if this were a bug out situation, I gotta make that tarp last as long as I possibly can. So I don't want to be poking holes in it. All right, shelter's up, fire pit's done, bed's in place. Now all I've got to do is gather some boughs to lay on top of the bed and start gathering firewood. So that's going to take me a little while. I can't see the sun, but I'm guessing I have about 45 minutes to an hour of light left. So I'm gonna just keep moving on that. By the time I get all done with everything, I'm guessing I'll have about three hours into this whole process. Um. All right, I've got everything staged for my fire. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little fire going. So I've got some pitch wood here, a little bit bigger pitch wood here. This is my old man's beard, and this is what I'm gonna try to get to take a spark from a fire steel. Then I've got the driest pine needles I can find here. Then I've got my little wood here. I've got my fire lay right here, a little dry spot to strike. And then I've got a little bit bigger wood stashed over here. So right within arm's reach, I should have enough stuff to get this fire up and running.
So I just want to get a nice bed of boughs on here just to soften up and smoothen out these logs that I made for my bed. And I'm going to concentrate them where my head and my hips go. I don't need them as much down where my feet are at. Okay, I'm going to call that good for the boughs and I'm going to get my bedding out and set it up now. There's really three pieces to the sleep system that I keep inside my inch or bug out back. One is my 20 degree wiggy sleeping bag and one is, is the GI XL bivy bag and then the other is a Thermarest um, pad. So there's a couple of things I have to make absolutely certain of when I use this sleep system especially if I want it to sustain me for a long period of time. One is I never open up the Thermarest pad. I never inflate it unless it's inside the bivy bag. So that gives me one extra layer of protection just to prevent it from getting any holes in it. The second thing is, is to keep it all away from sparks from the fire. So I'm gonna get my bed set up and then it'll be about time to make some dinner. Well, all the work is done. I've got my wood supply in. I'm building a nice long fire. I'm gonna keep it really low and nice and long. And that'll give me a nice heat source for my bed here. And then <clears throat> I'm just gonna boil up some water. I'll have a mountain house meal tonight and then tomorrow I'll take a look at my food supply. But I keep about 12,000 calories worth of food or so in my inch pack. But I'm also gonna boil up enough water to have a little spruce needle tea after dinner. That's a nice hot drink. It's pleasant to drink but it's also a good source of vitamin C and antioxidants. All right, I don't know if there's enough light here for you guys to see this, but to make spruce needle, needle tea, I wanna take a few of these fresh needles. I don't need a lot, just, oh, about that many. And I want the nice and green ones. I don't want any of the dry ones, so I'm gonna put my hot water in the cup. Get my gloves off for this. This is the most important part. All right, now I'm gonna break these needles and drop them in the hot water. And I'll just let that steep a little bit. And while my Mountain House meal is rehydrating, I'll also have some spruce needle tea. This is truly one of my favorite things in the world is in the evening time out in the woods all alone worked hard for a couple hours putting together a nice shelter but now i got a good supply of firewood in for the night i got a hot meal i'm eating <clears throat> a hot cup of spruce needle tea all's right in the world it's quiet out here All right, I have my spruce needle tea, my dinner, and I think I'm just gonna crawl into my sleeping bag. I stoked the fire, so it should burn. I've got a nice good bed of coals here, so it'll burn for a good couple hours, and it'll be nice to enjoy the heat from it while I'm falling asleep. And then once I'm asleep, my sleeping bag and bivy bag will keep me plenty warm. I've got my pistol right down here beside my bed. And then right back up here, I've got my other pistol, my AR pistol. So both of my weapons are easy to grab. Not that there's much of a chance that I would have to, but I keep them handy. And then I'll take my boots off and slide them right up next to the edge of the bed. So they're ready for me to just pop my feet into. Now, in a bug out situation like this, I would actually sleep with my clothes on. So all I'm gonna do is take my chest pack off. I'll probably even leave this wool hoodie on for a little while. Oh, that feels so good to take my boots off. Nice, I've actually got quite a bit of heat back up in here from the fire though. Alright, 
guys. Coyote works out. I'll see if anything exciting happens tonight. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the morning for coffee. Well, good morning, guys. As you can see, we got some snow last night. So, 